chief negotiator moved quickly down the hall. I followed up. Could I just get one quick comment from you on the arrests of the climate activists and the journalists in the lead up to this conference? I have clearly answered your question. Thank you. I'm sorry that I'm running out of the meeting. Just a brief answer from the press. Uh, many journalists and climate activists have been arrested here in Azerbaijan in the lead up to the COP, including the anti-corruption economist, uh, Gubad Ibadoglu, who's called for greater transparency in oil and gas revenues, and climate activists like Anar Mamadli, who co-founded a climate justice group weeks before the COP. My question is, um, Will they, among many other arrests in this lead up to the COP, be freed? Why were they arrested? And since it's uh, tourism day here at the COP, don't you think that um, this is a great uh, threat to tourism uh, when you have a crackdown like this in a country? Surely I'm not going to comment on any ongoing judicial processes. We are here all to make a collective effort for the sake of humanity to agree and adopt important decisions uh, on climate action. I would be more than happy to answer any questions related to climate and the ongoing negotiations. Thank you. They are climate activists, climate economists. After the news conference, I caught up with Yalkin Rafiev of Azerbaijan, representing the COP presidency, as he spoke with journalists outside the room. Sir, could you comment on the climate activists who've been arrested? He's, he's, got, a, he's got quite a busy schedule. So yes, I, I, I 